Good morning, peeps. Gosh, Judy, uh, Judy Peterson, your comment on my YouTube channel really made me laugh. Suffering from withdrawals, <laughs> it really made me laugh. I have been working, um, but I haven't turned on the camera for, I don't know, for whatever. So as you know, I'm giving this from page 53 from my foolproof flower I'm giving it, giving it a bit of a facelift and whoa, have I been enjoying it so it kind of as you know was looking like this from the book and now it's having a bit of a party I think so I'm I've removed some things because it wasn't the color palette wasn't tying in with what I had and as you know color is everything for me um yeah so today for my 15 minutes i'm going to just continue along and uh add a few bits and bobs to this let's get rid of this all right now this thread here is called herb and it's from a store here in Australia it's actually a crochet cotton but oh my hat is it beautiful to work with so um, if I remember and if I know how I will pop a link in to the notes or whatever I've got to get better at that actually now remember I am working these need to go because I've actually I've pulled something out there but I'll do that at a later stage And as you know, when I'm doing a my daily stitching, I don't normally unpick, but because this is not sort of like a traditional, my normal daily stitch. Oh, Jennifer, what are you doing? Sorry. This was supposed to be a dreaded bullion knot, bullion, or heavy grub. I don't know what you call them. Now, I normally, I do them but um, they just don't necessarily tickle my pickle or float my boat. So I don't really, I find them quite static and heavy, but um, I'm going to do one here. It might be a bit big. I just find that they just demand way too much attention from us, you know? So if I had a choice, I would um, rather use a cast on stitch here for this but because there are some in here already i just thought it best to just leave it as is i might come up and just do a little a smaller one on top to soften the blow so to speak oh, it's, i'm not in the middle it's terribly difficult to video with this nice frame that i'm using Come on, come on, come on, lift up. <sighs> My hands are cold this morning. It's actually been a bit nippy in Queensland, which is nice. Not as cold as other parts of um, Australia, but anyway. She's fine. As I said, they're not my best little stitches in the whole wide world, but they're fine add some stuff to it later to soften it even more but for now i'm just going to add my little lazy daisies to this i might not add lazy daisies i'll just do little straight stitches Keep your bottom tidy, Jennifer. Oh my goodness, I can't thread this thread. Normally threading is my superpower. And today it is just not happening. All right, let's end this off. Uh, 
so she's done i'm going to i think i'm happy with that that looks good i'm happy just with the two there this is in progress i'm happy i'm happy i think i'm gonna add to this but i'm just gonna travel let's add to her because i did unpick something there because the color wasn't great now this is all the wool that i bought out um, so that's what i'm going to use there once again i'm keeping these very simple in theme with in line with what i had already for the book it was all about calyxes how to do different calyxes for your flowers so that's what i'm going to carry on doing you know i don't watch uh, a lot of youtube i don't watch youtube mm. well i do i do watch one <laughs> and i love it it's called never too small and it's about these ingenious ways people make these tiny apartments just amazing and i don't know why but i oh my goodness i just love them and so i watch that a lot and when it was finished uh, you know how on youtube it comes up next or something like that and a youtube channel popped up on then and it was i'm sure her name was jerry bellini I'm, I'm she's a sewing um youtuber an embroidery youtuber so i'm sure many 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 of you follow her but her like title was we need to talk about this and i thought oh you know what is she talking about so i went in and i discovered you know all about her and what she does it's quite lovely um and what she was talking about was uh, you, I'm going to put the link. It, it was about um, plagiarism and copying and not giving credit. And, and it was really, she did it so beautifully and gently. You know, if I talk about that, I'm a little bit more aggressive about that. And I don't think you need to be, but it was very thought provoking how she discussed when um, people copy her work or share and as creators that's quite a uh, a difficult thing to navigate and to get your head around you know i i find that as a creator sometimes when i see a, a direct copy I, I don't know how i feel about it and i and sometimes it doesn't get to me and other times it really, really does. So give that a read. It was, as I said, it was very thought provoking and it was a very gentle approach to how she felt and how, you know, I love what she said, you know, we want people to stitch, we want people to sew, but just that, that respect that needs to be given to creators out there because, you know, the creators are the one doing the heavy lifting yeah it was very very um well done but i'm sure because she's got such a lovely channel most probably a lot of you have already do already watch her and so you know what i was i'm talking about am i in frame here I've really been enjoying um, this little facelift project. It's been fun and entertaining for me. Yeah, I definitely think I'm going to have to add some more in there, but I don't. Ha oh, sorry, in there, but I don't have any more thread. So, what I might do is come down here and just prep a center for the chill flowers, chill ribbons. I think something needs to be over there as well in the blue. I like that. I haven't put bling in all of them and I oh I like that too I haven't put bling in all of them but I I'm happy with that because I don't think I need to bling too much 
yeah i'm looking yes it's looking okay so let's just prep the centers for the tool ribbon which i need to go and find somewhere somewhere in my sewing room peeps who knows where now um whenever i'm doing something like this and it's quite busy i do try and keep try and keep something going that's in here otherwise it's too much of a um a contrast you know it's very very busy so this color here which is there and there and sort of in there and in there i'm going to keep using that a little bit because that's going to keep my eye from whoo, moving around too much so i'm going to come up over here and do some colonial knots in preparation for the tulle flowers. Which I might do later. I want to go for a nice long walk now. So I'm going to finish this little bit of stitching and then go for my walk and if I feel like doing it later I will that quite big because the tulle ribbon actually expands out quite a lot so um yeah now i'm wondering as i said this is all i bought out today <laughs> thread wise <laughs> so uh it's interesting what i want to do with that jennifer buy your snarks I'm gonna put your bird beautiful this morning. Putting on a show. There you go. Now, I'm wondering. Um, I need blue over there, and I need to add a little bit more white because I, I really, really like that white. This is red something today. Hmm. I might just go for my walk, my nice long walk, and um, come back to that and ex bring out these threads that might be handy. So my daily stitching today might be broken up into two bits before the walk and after the walk, because this is going to get finished today, Jennifer. No messing around. I'd like to move on. And uh, yeah, but I'm happy. I'll come back later. <laughs>